Yeah, it certainly is. Jessica, appreciate it. Thank you. Also with me this hour, Bennett Gershman, who's a distinguished professor of law at Pace University in New York and also former prosecutor in New York State's anti-corruption office. It's good to have you with us. Um, after David Pecker's uh, testimony, the first witness here, you said the prosecution had really set up the case, in your words, effectively, noting that subsequent witnesses would connect the dots, reinforce the sleazy plot, and likely bury Donald Trump. Did Keith Davidson, in your view, accomplish any of that today, given the fact that he made clear he was not dealing with Donald Trump in those negotiations? He was dealing with Michael Cohen. Well, well, Michael Cohen is part of the conspiracy uh, with Donald Trump and, and David Pecker. Uh, it's clear that Michael Cohen was acting as Trump's personal lawyer. Michael Cohen was negotiating these deals with the National Enquirer and with Keith, Keith Davidson, who was the lawyer for Karen McDougal and uh, Stormy Daniels. So the, the dots are getting connected pretty, uh, as I say, effectively. Uh, and uh, the, the story is now unfolding uh, in a broad framework. It's going to get more detailed. But we know that this was a conspiracy to suppress damaging information about Trump, to pu publish uh, information about Trump's rivals, and, and that was the, the gist of this scheme. They called it the catch and kill scheme, to catch bad, damaging stories about Trump and bury them. And so far, I think the evidence has come in from Pecker, from his editor-in-chief, uh, Howard, from Keith Davidson. The, the evidence has been compelling. It's been clear. The jury is paying very close attention. And it seems to me that the prosecution's case has gone in very, very strongly. And I don't believe that the attempt by the defense to try to knock holes in it has been successful. I mean, they're trying to show that Trump had nothing to do with it, that it wasn't for the election, uh, that it was all done by Michael Cohen on his own. I mean, you know, there's not very much here that the defense can work with to try to suggest that Keith Davidson was a serial extortionist. He was. He admits it. And, you know, the, the interchange and the strong cross-examination really didn't accomplish very much, I don't think. I think right now the story is very clear in the jury's eyes, and more evidence is going to come in to corroborate everything that has already been presented in a very, very powerful way. So right now, I think the prosecution is uh, is sitting pretty strongly and feels pretty confident about their case. I'm curious to get your take on some of the evidence that was just brought in. So this is coming into us, you know, from the courtroom. And Jessica touched on some of this, but part of what is being introduced, and with this expert uh, who's on the stand now for the who works in the DA's office, they're talking about a phone call, a recording from, or a recording, I should say, from September of 2016. Donald Trump's voice can be heard on it. Uh, he's on a phone call when the recording starts. Uh, when he hangs up, Michael Cohen says that was a great call, by the way. Um, this is the call. Michael Cohen calling, saying he needs to open a company. He's already spoken with Alan Weisselberg, of course, who held the purse strings there at the Trump organization about how to set the whole thing up. This is, again, trying to lay that groundwork, as you point out, for how the plan came together. How important is that call? If this is a call, I think it is. It's a critical piece of evidence. In this call, Trump is asking Cohn, how much do we have to pay, whether we can do it by check. This call is showing that Trump is knows about what's going on, knows about the payments, and is using Cohn to figure out how to arrange the payments and whether we have to pay that much. But it shows Trump's knowledge of what's going on and his intention to silence these witnesses who would testify to his sex uh, salacious relationships with these women. So, so this call is it shows Trump's knowledge, his intent. It, it, it exposes Trump uh, as being the key mastermind, really, of this conspiracy. It's a powerful piece of evidence. And the jury's going to hear it very soon, I believe. Really appreciate your expertise taking the time to join us today. Thank you. Oh,